Hi everybody, we're going to do an unboxing today. So I just received a new pair of shoes from Spigola, which is Koji Suzuki, a bespoke shoemaker trained in Florence and who is based out of Kobe. He is one of our favorite shoemakers at the store and we do trunk shows with him regularly. And this is a pair that I ordered a while ago. I don't even know how long ago. We tend to get our own bespoke stuff very late compared to our regular customers. Um, so I am excited to see what this looks like because I actually have yet to open up and have a look. You know, I've never actually owned a pair of Double Monks. Like when we opened the store 10 years ago, Double Monks were like kind of all the rage. And because they were all the rage, somehow I was like, I don't really want to get on that bandwagon. But now that I think we're in a post Double Monk era, I thought, okay, well maybe this is a good time to see what the fuss is all about. And to be honest, I have actually made quite a few Double Monks for our customers in the past. And the Koji ones are, I would say some of the best of the breed. Like they're really, really beautiful. And you will see why in a second. It's really embarrassing. I actually don't even remember what leather I made these in. All right, duck brown apparently. So this is on my personal last um, in a chisel toe, soft chisel. Um, you can especially tell it's my personal last because it's a little wider at the forefoot. Like I like having a little bit of extra space um, at the width of the toes. And before I slip them on and everything, why don't we just have a look at some of the details, right? So there you go. You can see this is definitely a little bit broader than normal, but then you can see the heel and heel cup is about normal. And in fact, actually, I have um, my shoemakers tighten the heel up just a little bit more for me. My heel is actually not that big. Um, when we were talking about what makes a Koji Double Monk so special, so firstly, it's that beautiful sweep there. Like the, the second strap towards the ankle actually swoops backwards and it has a really nice length to it, but also scallops out and has a beautiful point at the end as well. And then the buckles that Koji uses are awesome. So they're, they have just a little bit of extra detail on them and I think that really makes a huge difference to the overall effect of the shoe. Also, Koji shoes tend not to have a seam on the back. He puts this, he wraps the panel around and puts the seam on the side. So from the back, it looks just a little bit cleaner, which I think is a really nice touch. And this is another signature Koji detail, like the hand stitch just right there. Like you'll actually notice on a lot of Koji's designs. Um, in fact, on the Chelsea that he does, he, that's a very prominent detail. Alrighty, uh, you might also have noticed actually that the strap has no hole on it. Um, so I have enlisted the help of my dear colleague, Jan, and Jan is gonna help me punch a hole in this so that it's actually wearable. So let's try this on. I think I've given this tip before, but when you are taking shoe trees out, um, and in fact, I learned this from Philip Carr at St. Crispin's, the idea is not to pull this way, but to rotate. Like, so you pull it out this way and it's much easier to come out. All right, let's give this a whirl. My first pair of double monks. Oh, it feels great though. Nice. All right, so Jan, if you could do the honors. So Jan and I discussed this a little bit um, earlier, which is, you know, because we're punching the hole, we have to kind of think about how tight do we want this? And you know, like personally, I prefer my shoes actually a little bit on the loose side. Um, my shoes, my, my feet tend to swell a little bit as the day goes on. So I definitely don't want it too tight. Um, I will probably end up having at least two holes on these straps. Uh, so we'll do one for now where it's, you know, it's still in the morning, so early in the day. And then if it feels tight by the evening, um, we'll punch one more strap at the end of the day. I'm sorry, punch one more hole in the strap at the end of the day. Okay, so Jan has punched holes in the strap for me now, and you can see it there. It's nice and clean. We're starting with just one hole for now, and then you know, probably towards the end of the day, as my foot gets a little more swollen, we'll add another hole later. So let's try that on. It's a very soft leather. Like I find that Koji tends to favor softer, thinner leathers than other shoemakers, which I appreciate. Like I like very 
soft, comfortable shoes. Um, I mean, who doesn't, of course, but you know, I, I guess I have kind of a low tolerance for these things. In fact, that's kind of also why, for instance, on the Armory shoes, we've been switching to like oiled leather soles and eventually we'll also be switching to like a softer heel counter just so it's a more comfortable. All right, anyway, task at hand, these Del Monks feel great and they fit great. I'm into it. It's good. I like it. Also, as I was setting up for this shot, I totally forgot, but um, you know, on the bespoke shoe trees, like just having my name on there is kind of a nice touch. I don't know who's writing it from. Maybe Koji is, but it looks really good. Alrighty, there you go. So an unboxing of Koji Suzuki's Bespoke Double Monks. Um, we do trunk shows with Koji on a regular basis. And uh, if you're interested in placing an order, please feel free to get in touch. Uh, let me know what you think of Double Monks, about bespoke shoemaking, all that great stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.